Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here to read to you level 3 of the Backrooms, also known as the Electrical Station. This level is the 4th level of the Backrooms, and its survival difficulty class is 3, which means it is unsafe, unsecure, and has a moderate entity count. Let's start with the description. Level 3, also referred to as the Electrical Station, is an expansive complex of attenuated brick hallways with electrical machinery scattered throughout. Similar to level 0, the layout of level 3 appears to be randomly segmented, shifting and warping in many directions, most of, most of which being illogical in appearance. One constant that is seemingly un universally maintained throughout level 3 is the piping that lines the walls and ceilings of this of the strange labyrinth. Level 3's configuration seems to be much more diversified than that of Level 2, despite some similarities. The majority of said similarities is exist in isolated sectors of Level 3, not universally applicable to the level. Nevertheless, both levels are depicted as having thin, attenuated and hallways. As for mentioned, the, halls and the walls and ceilings of Level 3 are lined with piping. These pipes vary in size and inventory. Some are empty, while some are filled with fluids that resemble either water, on water, or petrol. Neither of these, especially the latter, are safe or to consume. In rare instances, the pipes of level 3 contain an articulate wiring, which does not, not appear to serve any purpose. Various types of machinery can be found throughout level 3, but the majority of these archetypes pair an unknown location, seemingly outside of the level. Others are seem to control or empower the pipes, often exposed as wires emerge from the ceilings, walls, and floors. In relatively desolate, rare locations in level 3, dimly lit hallways may be found. As is common throughout most of the level, the lights are relatively quiet, though they seem to be even quieter in these locations. Whilst these hallways may appear airy to wanderers, there are no accounts of entity attacks, nor any harm being delivered to wanderers in these locations. Many wanderers have reported that these rare spots have soothing effects on all who enter. Metallic bars can also be found in level 3, serving no known purpose. Attempts to break through these have been in vain, and they seem to be an unbreakable barrier. In many cases, as pictured, windows lie beyond these bars. Whether or not these particular windows offer any form of exit or, or anomaly is unknown, as the majority of them are inaccessible, rarely being found anywhere else in the level. All attempts of exploration beyond these bars have been in vain. As is pictured, strange machinery can be found in level 3, and rare rooms that seem to follow a common repeating pattern. They seem to be located in a straight line from one another. The true nature of this, however, is unconfirmed due to the non-Euclidean pro properties of Level 3. Many have theorized that these strange rooms present in Level 3 are used to connect the level and perhaps power it. Some have gone as far or, or, or to claim that the machinery and wires present on Level 3 if power the back rooms at large, or at the very least, the main 9. This claim has been widely disputed, though it has not been disproven. It is highly feasible that level 03, electric station, works, works as just that, a station used to power the back rooms. As we mentioned, windows as in behind the strange and destructible prison bars found on level 3 are inaccessible. Nevertheless, windows are often found in locations which do not contain the bar phenomenon. These locations and windows differ drastically in comparison to those found in the bars in several ways. These windows and those appear to emit much less light, while those behind bars emit light similar to that of a sunny day. These illuminate considerably less comparable to a cloudy day or just before sunset. These windows are notably accessible, they are not able to be broken, but are able to be looked out of. The majority of these windows look out to nothing, only grayish clouds are visible, with no ground being seen below. As I know whether or not this reflects the true apocryphy of level 3. Honestly, you might want to just stay away from windows in the back rooms if you can help it anyway. Rooms containing windows are kept are typically well 
a lit, and in close proximity of one another. These clusters of rooms are where most human activity takes place. While not the most forgiving places to live and, and coexist, they're among the safest locations in Level 3, which contains a real, relatively moderate in, in number of entities. In rooms and, and clusters containing windows, it is common for pipes and wires to group together near the top of the walls, much more than they do outside of these rooms. Really, when in a wire remains unretained, direct contact with such wire could cause temporary paralysis. Alternatively, direct contact could cause uncontrollable movement. The reasons for these effects, presumed to be caused by electrical dis discharges, are unknown. Rarely, white signs can be found on through level 3. One number. Usually three digits can be read. Below this is cryptic text. All attempts to decipher said text happen in vain. When the aforementioned repeating pattern of level 3 is followed, these signs may appear in each ring. Um, increasing in numerical order. They commonly end at 999. They practically reset, referring to one in the next room. Um, among the earliest accurate accounts of these signs as listed before, written in an SRS diary in 2006. Said researcher was attempting to decipher the strange cryptic text to no avail. Intriguingly, many statements made by this researcher do not match up with modern accounts of texts found on the walls of level 3. <clears throat> We're finally we finished investigating for the day, whatever you'd like to call the former half of this strange, purely ocular day-night cycle. We found several rooms, and they, all, and they seem to be all connected like a square pattern. I don't know why they're there. But I have been immensely intrigued with, with my findings. Science are scattered throughout these rooms, and at the very top there is a number. And these usually increase as we traverse these strange apparatus, apparatus filled rooms. The numbers don't seem to serve that much of a purpose. As we were told, they tend to reset around a thousand. Somehow, none of my colleagues took note of the text before the numbers. It's unreadable. Every now and then there are readable letters. What's we even? Wants even a word, but all the e text, it's also random, lighting up with nothing. Whilst we traversed throughout these rooms, I took note of one legible word I could read contrivance. <sighs> the day night cycle of level 3 works extremely strangely. Will there are visible changes in the illumination of the level as said cycle passes, such as the clouds outside of the level like before eventually dissipating? The majority of it is purely unperceivable, questioning whether or not the affirmation illumination is, is visible. The, the causes for this is unknown, yet seems to be universal throughout level 3. A multitude of entities are present in level 3, causing moderate, har causing moderate harm to human and inhabitants of the level. At any time interval, entities tend to stay away from rooms containing windows. <sighs> there are two major colonies and outposts on level 3, both belonging to the Major Explorer Group, or MEG. Gamma Base 3, a relatively large colony controlled by the Major Explorer Group, functionally, functioning relatively self-dependently, consists of a wide variety of personnel from different divisions. The majority of discoveries regarding level 3 stem from Gamma Base 3's personnel. Friendly and willing to trade will offer temporary sanctuary. <clears throat> Delta Research Base, subcolony of Gamma Base is 3, serves as a research branch for of the aforementioned colony when active, friendly, and willing to trade. Interests and exits. Interests. There are three confirmed methods of entering level 3. A wanderer may enter this level by finding a fire exit on level 2. If one attempts to, if one follows the hallways of level 19, they may end up on this level. Entering a hole with a, a crevice symbol on it found in level 5 will bring one to this level. There are three currently confirmed methods of exiting level 3. A wanderer may enter a door labeled Office Sector, leading them to level 4. Exiting through elevators pressed on level 3 has 
a chance of bringing a water to level 4 or level 5, more commonly the latter. Sir, it's an extended dimly lit hallways in level 3 may lead to level 273. These hallways can be identified by a lack of pipe sliding the walls and the small a decrease in temperature as one traverses the hallway. Contrivance? Is it at all just contrived? Well, hardly, I believe so. You may argue it is also unmethodical. Unmethod unmethodical. How could this realm be a result of contrivance? I understand such an argument, but it is not the point of it at all. Be it the murky elaborance or the abandoned offices, or even these effortless adorned antechambers, I struggle to see how it could be a result of probability. It all seems strung together or intricately. The back room certainly makes up for it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It is really hard to read this. For its lack of exquisite configuration with anyways design. Well, certainly I am intrigued in my final example. What is known as the fourth level of the back rooms. Candidly, I cannot fathom this elaborate complex serving no purpose, no contrivable purpose. I most assuredly believe that this fourth level serves a much greater purpose. Perhaps even a much greater master. Be it corporeal or not, I am, am virtually certain that this mechanical maze grants power to the fourth level, and by extension, the main nine. I understand the inquiry of how so or how is this relevant, but, but I did not resonate with them. For how could such a discovery not be relevant? Fancy this! Perhaps in the escape that is the back rooms, level three is not the bottom floor of a large building, somehow powering the entire thing. It most certainly makes sense, explaining the office sector exit to level 4. Certainly this changes everything, perhaps not for the inhabitants of the group at large, but for myself, and for the a consensus. This could be a profound discovery. For better or for worse, we shall yet again prove that the backgrounds shall not warp our humanity into something else. One may call it greed, and that I understand, yet we tend to call it survival, even if we may not tell them what we survive. Well, that was level three of the back rooms. Please leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.